Chase Construction Products offers a line of asphalt additives including Rossfault R50 and Rossfault LT. These thermoplastic polymer additives are combined with traditional aggregate and asphalt in the plant to produce a highly polymerized asphalt mixture that exhibits elastomeric properties. The combination of the asphalt additives and standard hot mix asphalt components create a one-step waterproof and wearing course that is highly resistant to rutting and shoving as well as providing excellent flexural fatigue resistance. Rossfault and Rossfault LT are dry powder additives that are added directly in with the aggregates in the plant. Deck preparation is a vital first step when preparing to pave with mixes including the asphalt additives. The surface, whether it is milled, fresh concrete, or existing asphalt must be clean and dry. The moisture content of the deck is also very important when considering the waterproofing characteristics of Rossfault mixtures. The cleanliness of the deck is also very important to ensure proper bond is achieved between the roadway layers. The next step in the process of paving with Rossfault is the application of Chase's Royston 120 29 Edge Sealer. This material is applied to all vertical surfaces that the asphalt overlay, including Rossfault, will come in contact with. This single component cold applied material is normally applied by brush or roller onto the surface, but has been sprayed on using line striping equipment on larger scale projects. Again, cleanliness of the surface is vital. Tack coat is applied on all projects using Rossfault and Rossfault LT as the dry mix modifier. Chase offers a low VOC, solvent-based, cold-applied tack coat, but other traditional tack coat materials have been used as well. During the tack coat application, it is important that the deck is clean and free of all dirt, dust, and debris that could interfere with the bonding of the overlay to the underlying substrate. During the paving operations, care must be taken to prevent any tracking or pickup of the tack coat, and the material should be reapplied if this does occur. Rossfault and Rossfault LT can be used with drum and batch plants. The dry mix asphalt additive is added at 2.25% by weight of the total mix. Rossfault and Rossfault LT can be supplied to customers in 22.5 pound multiple poly bags, super sacks, or in bulk tankers, depending on the storage capacity and delivery methods of the plant. Typically in drum plants, the asphalt additives have been added via the wrap collar or screw conveyor, which places the material into the mixing drum prior to the addition of the liquid asphalt. In batch plants, the Rossfault additives are added directly into the pug mill with the heated aggregate and dry mixed for at least 10 seconds prior to the addition of the liquid asphalt being added. Mixes containing Rossfault asphalt additives should not be stored in silos for extended periods of time due to the dense nature of the product, the high temperatures necessary to manufacture, place, and compact the mix properly. The finished mix temperatures for Rossfault R50 range between 410 and 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and for Rossfault LT between 350 and 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and should be measured and recorded in each truck as it leaves the plant. Trucks must be tarped with good functional tarps rated for the high production temperatures associated with asphalt. Care should be taken to minimize heat loss of the mixtures in transit to the job site. Heated body trucks or flow boys can be used where available. Rossfault mixtures cannot be windrowed or belly dumped onto the ground prior to being loaded into the paver. Paving with Rossfault mixtures using standard paving equipment and good paving practices are very important to the success of the project. In place field density should be monitored at all times and on all projects. The high density of Rossfault and Rossfault LT mixtures is a key component to the rutting and shoving resistance of the mix as well as the waterproofing characteristics. Tandem steel wheel rollers should be used in static mode and density should be monitored with a calibrated thin lift nuclear density meter or equivalent to establish and adjust rolling patterns. Temperatures of the mix should be checked upon delivery into the hopper as well as at the auger of the paver as this is the point which will give the best true mix temperature all of the mixing has been completed at this point. On typical projects, the breakdown roller should stay close to the paver, minimizing heat loss of the mix before initial compaction. Some Rossfault mixtures have exhibited tender zones, just like traditional hot mix asphalt, in which cases the rollers must stay off the material until the temperature permits proper rolling. After density has been achieved and rolling is completed, traffic can resume once the finished mat has cooled to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Prior to resuming traffic, a final application of Royston 12029 Edge Sealer needs to be applied over all transverse and longitudinal seams in the finished overlay. A 2-4 to four inch band should be applied centering on the joint. Please visit ChaseCorp.com or contact customer service at area code 781-332-0700 for additional assistance or information regarding the use and purchase of Chase Construction Products asphalt additives and view Chase's entire line of products.